if, if it's about the message, festivals are the largest media to do it. And what was out there wasn't fly, so we wanted to put our own spin on it. This is ill, I ain't even gonna call it black hippie, I'm gonna call it brown hippie movement, you know what I mean? I'm from North Carolina, right? So I moved to LA. Uh, I learned about Earth Day. I thought that shit was wavy. I also used to work as a PA, a production assistant, in Santa Monica, California. It's like a beach town. And it's like uh, salads and all sorts of stuff on the corner, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. But then when I would get my hair cut, I would go to like South Central, the Crenshaw District, and it's liquor store, liquor store, you know what I'm saying, Burger King, McDonald's. So it's like, yo, how do you, how do you bridge our people together with something positive? And I figured music would be the best bet. <laughs> As you can tell right now, music, it brings us all together. We love music, that's the draw. Once I get you here, you start doing research. What in the world is Broccoli City? I think it's a, an interesting technique um, because you get here and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of like green smoothies. I remember my freshman year, I was like, wait, what? Like, this food is so healthy. How's the food? It's delicious. <laughs> it is wonderful. No one has ever done that before. And then to have big artists like come in and like, I guess maybe they're not really talking about it, but it's still kind of cool to like be able to intertwine the two. I personally believe it's because it's so many, so many brown people with jobs. You know what I mean? Like that matters, you know what I'm saying? Like people having the, the commerce to, to come and support and do things, that matters. DC is us, you know what I mean? And when I say us, I mean, you know, people of color, especially African Americans. Me coming up here every summer. North Carolina, the backdrop is us as well, but it's something about DC, it's something about the energy here. I think for Brock to be coming in Congress Heights, and like they're, they're pioneers in the, in the truest sense. Absolutely. But they're pioneers that look like us, that live, look like people that live here in the community that are bringing this type of economic development to the city, this type of uh, presence, and people will say, hey, Congress Heights is a real community. There's opportunities, there's things going on here. This is a place where we can be and we can do economic development, education. Absolutely. We can do environmental things. We can, we can do all these things that make great neighborhoods great, and we're gonna do that here in, in Congress Heights. We want, we want to keep this partnership going on for years and years to come, you know? So we got Toyota, Planned Parenthood, Title, Eats, State Farm. We got a lot. We got a lot of good sponsors. The entrepreneurialistic aspect of Broccoli City is super important because when you see me, when you watch me, or you looking at me, you know you can do it too. You understand? And that's what the spark is. And that's why I like having so many young entrepreneurs in the marketplace we have going up there. And the vending cost is very, very low because I want people to be able to afford it. Everybody is just so peaceful and happy and they're really excited about the products. They ask plenty of questions and I'm able to at least answer them and let them know what each one is for. If you have some type of ailment, we have something here to fix it. And um, a lot of the people that come here are looking for something that, that, that is natural they can use on their skin. So it's a perfect crowd for this kind of stuff. I really like it how they're trying to have some kind of Mensa Resort collective of Everyone just bringing everything. I know they had the conference and the 5K and everything, so I like how they're kind of attacking the city and just having having entire events all weekend. So it was just about the festival not having enough, it's not enough surface matter to really for things to stick. You know, when you just hear one day and half your time is listening to music, you don't get a chance to conversate and learn about really what Broccoli City and the message is. So we almost by necessity had to create more things to really get the message across and so that's where the conference came from that's where the 5k comes from so that's what that was really centered in y'all ready yeah y'all ready yeah y'all ready yeah we run dc we are drc and we are the best yeah. 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 yeah this is broccoli city and this is the Basically, we're using running as a as a way to to motivate to motivate people to inspire folks to get out and just get moving. Green is giving me 
life. People run by themselves all the time, but what we do is try to change the change that narrative about making running less of a chore on, and making running up. cool and empowering each other when they come in. There we go, finish it up. On, just like that. Uh, it's a lot of people out here who just volunteered for a ticket. So you don't even have to have money to come to Broccoli City. Just donate your time to help out the community, this community. A lot of us, as far as African Americans and places of power, we talk a good game, but we're not actually doing anything for the community. So we figure, hey, if I give you a shot, that's something. You know what I mean?